Hey guys, it's Rakina, the Lash CEO.com, and I am here doing a very quick video on how I make my lash shampoo. I know everybody has their own formula and way they do it. I try to keep it really simple and keep the ingredients simple, but I had a couple of um, Lash CEO members ask, and maybe some people on Instagram asking how I make my lash shampoo. So here it is. Um, the things that you need is baking soda, uh, your foam bottle, witch hazel, and baby shampoo. I get this from the Dollar Tree. Get this from the Dollar Tree. Um, not Arm & Hammer, but I did find some Clabber Girl baking soda at Dollar Tree. And I get my foam bottles here, just plain ones, um, from bulkapothecary.com. Um, they have awesome prices. I'm pretty sure you can find them like overseas for even cheaper, but I like to get my stuff in pretty quick when it comes to this, just because usually when I need them, I need them like yesterday. Um, my labels, I have them printed at shindigs.com. They're just clear sticker labels. I like them a lot. I will say that, um, the last time I had some printed, there was some on the sheet that didn't quite, um, get die cut all the way and I'm going to email them and see if they'll send me you know extra ones when I order again because they're pretty cool about that kind of stuff and I like to patronize that business just because they um they're in Indiana where I grew up and it's like literally miles away from where I went to school so shindigs.com for the clear stickers um so yeah let's get started so I just take the top off I like to put in the baby shampoo first because it is the thickest and I'll pour it in and then I'll show you how much I use. Not a lot at all. So, can you see that? It's not very much, just a little bit. Then the witch hazel part is actually the most where I'm just like, eh, that seems about good. This is a brand new bottle, so I'm just gonna poke a hole on it really quick. I don't like to take that label completely off just because that's what I do. Um, I don't like it to pour out a ton at once, so I'll show you once I get it poured in. I don't really use a lot of witch hazel either. You can kind of see that it's a little difference between the two. I mean, if we're measuring, I would probably say maybe that much witch hazel from the tip to there, witch hazel. And my baking soda, I just use my little nail art scooper, the baking soda, and I do two scoops. So one, and two. That's it guys. I add distilled water or um, filtered water from our little guy out in the uh, lobby. And that's it, I add enough water so that the, the displacement of putting in my pump doesn't overflow it. So typically right about there is where I'll add the water. Close it up. I shake it a little bit when the water's in there. And that's it. And that's how I make my last shampoo. Hope that video helped. If you have any questions about anything, um, you can leave it below. Or you can find me on Facebook, The Lash CEO. And on Instagram, The Lash CEO. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!